Hey everybody, what's up? One pick here. Uh, just a couple of quick updates and then we'll get to cultist information because I have more. Sweet, right? Few things have changed um, that I think have a pretty large impact on the game. At least a couple of them. First, if it feels harder to kill Killa, that's because he's been buffed. His chest HP was increased to 210 and his stomach HP was increased to 170, which means that his total HP has been increased by about 50 points, bringing his entire HP pool to 890, making it that much harder to leg meta him. So good luck. Now this screen cap that I'm going to show you comes from Pestily and the wiki devs. Now I'm going to show you a screen cap for a later stage Jaeger task that seems like it's missing some information. Now this screen cap comes from Pestily, so thank you to Pestily for sharing this with, uh, with everybody in the community and uh, to the wiki devs for helping to figure this out. Now this quest hunting trip lists some quest requirements that seem to be missing. It just kind of shows this alphanumeric string. So this task actually ends up being a combo, kind of similar to mechanic and the gunsmith tasks, but also there's a kill requirement. And it doesn't show here, but the kill requirement is to kill Sturman, specifically with an M700 with a March Tactical uh, 24 by 42 scope, and then do the rifle hand in. If it feels like the loot that you're getting in Tarkov seems a little bit more scarce than it used to be, you're not alone. It seems like there's a whole lot of people that are feeling that way. Well, let me be the first to tell you that your assumptions are valid. I can't specifically tell you how much, because quite frankly, we don't know how to quantitize it. But from what we have looked into, I can tell you that definitively there has been a reduction in the rates of loot spawning globally across all the maps. Like I said, we don't know exactly how much of an impact the reduction is, but we know that there has been a reduction. So if it feels like you're not getting as much loot on the maps as you're working your way through them, you are correct. There has been. All right, a couple more pieces of info and then on to cultists. Most of the longer barrels and suppressors in the game have had a uh, nerf to their ergonomics penalties. So stuff that was minus two is like minus three now, etc. Okay, so keep your eye on that. There might be some ergo penalties that you weren't aware of that are now hitting you uh, when you didn't know it. And lastly, on to cultists and more cultist information. Okay, so first, some corrections. In my last video, I said that the priest cultist was the only person that had the poison knife. This is not true. It also has, I guess, a rare chance to be in the melee slot of the warrior cultists as well. So there's uh, an opportunity there. One thing that I wrote in title sequences during one of the scenes but didn't actually say to you guys is that the poison knife itself has two charges that you can use to poison somebody and then it just acts like a regular knife. Uh, it doesn't seem like it works on NPCs. It only works on player characters, which I guess kind of makes sense. Um but it will also drop if you die. So if you're holding it in your melee slot and you get killed, the cultist knife doesn't stay in your melee slot. It is, it is forever lootable. So you don't get to keep it forever. Sorry. Also, if you didn't see my community post that I made yesterday, uh, cultists are now on customs. They were added uh, yesterday uh, in the morning. There's a pack of four. It's a priest and three warriors that will spawn. They spawn over by the fort, and I have a, a small clip that I'll play for you guys. The fort, the, the, the stronghold, whatever it is that you want to call it, over in the, the newer expansion area, you know, the place that's got the AGL and the 50 cals and that kind of stuff, they spawn there or thereabouts. And it feels like you're playing airsoft and you hit someone and he looks around. Now, I have seen them path as far over as to like one of the ZB extraction exits because there's a clip that was floating around on Twitter of somebody that got attacked over there. Uh, my guess is, is that they kind of chased or followed somebody over there and, you know, things happen. But remember, even though they might spawn somewhere around the fort, it's still a really large radius, you know, 100 meters plus. So just kind of be on the lookout. Oh, and the last cultist thing that I forgot to mention. There's also this, this part with their movement. And I, I know I showed you guys the tactics in the last video, and if you guys haven't seen the last video, I'd highly recommend going and checking that out. But as it turns out, they also don't make any noise. As they move through bushes and brush and stuff, they don't make any brush noises. Their feet don't have any footstep sounds. It, they're they're kind of crazy. So, yeah, silent, silent but deadly. There were also an awful lot of people in the comments that needed to correct my pronunciation of Zrek because 
God forbid, an American moron like me tries to make a meme about how his name sounds to an American idiot, Sh- Shrek. By the way, I'm not going to stop doing that. So, <laughs> I'm just, it's, it's going to be Shrek forever. I'm sorry, but that's, it's, he's Shrek now. It, it happened. All right? Like, he's Shrek now. I, that's what happens. Memes. I'm, I'm sorry, my Russian Slavic brothers. I, I don't know what else to say, man. Ah, more information about the poison debuff. So the poison debuff we know ticks really aggressively, and you're spam healing like the dickens trying to make sure that it doesn't kill you. The only, and, and I mean this, I, I know that there are health kits that are listed that have the ability to uh, cure toxicity, but this isn't toxicity. It's a toxin. They're different. The only thing that will heal or or fix the poison is the antidote stem. That antidote stem is it. We've had people testing it. I've had people message me. It's the only thing that will stop it, and it takes about a minute. So even though you're going to use the stem and then you know heal the poison, it still takes about a minute. If you are able to extract with the poison on you, it will absolutely persist through death, and it costs 44,000 rubles at therapist at the moment to get rid of it. So it is not a cheap thing uh, to to fix. Make sure that you guys got uh, a few rubles laying around. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait for it to go away. And, uh, you know, no one wants to sit in their inventory clicking around forever, right? All right, last bit of information, and then I'm out of here. Tomorrow, uh, on New Year's Eve, or no, no, not New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, Eve, yeah. The 30th of December, 30 days Hath September, April, June. Yeah, 31, right? Okay, yeah. So tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow night, uh, 10 p.m. GMT, so 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be taking part in, uh, I guess, a 3v3 battle. Uh, it's going to be Sherpas versus Emissaries, which means that Sherpas, the guys with the green names that you see in lobbies every once in a while with a little handshake icon, yeah, we're going to be fighting uh, or competing against some purple-named scrubs. And they're going to get stopped. Uh, so come and cheer us on. We're going to be on BSG's channel, I guess. Uh, I'll be streaming from my channel, but they will be getting featured on BSG's channel. So we'll be uh, we'll be duking it out, as it were. Uh, it's myself, my man Tower, and uh, Alpha Unknown. Uh, us three Sherpas are going to be doing our thing. I don't know if anybody else is competing other than the three of us, and if it's just like three Sherpas and three Emissaries. I, I have no idea. Um, but it's going to be on BSG's channel, and it's like Evasion GG style of... Uh, of competition stuff where there's going to be like things to find and points to collect and screenshots to take or whatever. Um, either way, I'm going to have a whole lot of fun, especially since I'm still in like level 14 or something. And all of my gear has been just acquired. <laughs> I got a lot of SVDs <laughs> and an R 700 and like umps. So anyway, uh, thanks guys. And, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.